glacier. to my cute pink bag, ah, glossy haul. Super excited to show you guys what I got recently from there. I am, disclaimer, a ambassador for Glossier this summer, so they kindly sent me over some bits that I requested, but I also spent $100 of my own coin this week on a bunch of new makeup from there too, so it's kind of gonna be like an updated summer skincare, because I like to have at least two skincare routines, just so that my skin doesn't get used to too many of the same products and there's just a bunch of stuff that I wanted to try from their makeup section too so let's get straight into it. I have two bags like this chocolate block full of skincare. I've been on such a skincare kick and just trying to get my skin like as amazing as I can possibly get it. It's like becoming quite addictive. Moisturizer is two that I know I already like. The Glossy Priming Moisturizer which is much lighter. I don't get much use out of this but since it's been roasting in New York I'm using this a lot more. It's more like a light lotion texture. Probably prepping a little bit early with this one but this is the thicker version. It's the Priming Moisturizer Reach which is a lot more of a thick cream. I'm absolutely obsessed with this one. When my skin is dry in the winter I literally use this as a daily moisturizer but if you're normal to oily this is just a, like a really nice night cream. Oh these are something I was super excited to try. I've never tried them before. They're the Glossier serums. Also having a moment with this little cute frosted orange tinted bottle. Really really nice packaging but as you guys know vitamin C products in general have been making the most difference from my skin in terms of like evening and making it look healthy. So I thought I'd give the Glossier one a go and compare it to some other products I have but they also kindly sent over two more. They sent me the Super Bounce serum Serum with hyaluronic acid which is obviously very hydrating and the super pure one which is more for breakout prone skin so I might give this away for you guys yeah let's do a giveaway if you want this just comment below and I'll send that out to you guys as a little treat so you can get in on the glossy action but yeah excited to try the super bounce alongside that I've also been very into masks lately and self-care and um, so I asked for two from glossy it's the moisturizing moon mask hydrating and then the Mega Greens Galaxy Pack for detoxifying because I am getting a little bit of build up with sunscreen and all of that stuff, sweat, gross things like that. So yeah, really like the name. Cutest little product ever. I didn't know that Glossy came out with this but they kindly sent it over. It's the Soothing Rosewater Face Mist and I have to say I have been throwing this into my handbag the last couple of days. So fancy, so bougie. Really lovely fine mist and very rose watery so if you love that scent check this out. I like just spraying it, it just has like a refresher when I'm out and about and sweating in that New York heat. I have to give a shout out to this as well. I've had this for a few weeks actually. It's the Glossy Body Hero Body Lotion. One of my biggest sort of resolutions for this year was to start moisturizing my body more because I am so lazy. Like when I get out of the shower it's like the last thing I want to do but I am ashy AF. A couple of lotions on the go, some of them are super quick drying, some of them take ages, they're really really rich but this is a fantastic middle of the road one, it's sort of like my go-to because I know it's going to hydrate my skin just enough uh, without taking forever to like you know massage. So those are the glossy skincare bits I picked up. Number one products that I know and love already, plus some new ones just to update my routine and I don't know, add a bit of excitement, try some new stuff, new recommendations for you guys. Usually I get everything I want posted to me, but there was a couple of new products that I kind of wanted to see in person. So that's why I went to the showroom. And yeah, oh my God, I got some really nice new bits that I'm excited to like add to my glossier makeup routine because it is sort of like the brand that I use most on the day-to-day -day on my face. First off, the thing that's on my cheeks, which I have had for a couple of weeks, but I put it back in the packaging because I am so sociopath. This is the shape. Oops. What can I say? I love everything about it. It's on my cheeks, stabbed on my lips a little bit for a cohesive look, but it's sort of like a really dark, rosy color. And what I love about it is it kind of gives you that almost, you know when you're sort of like half burnt, half tanned, 
that look across your face like I run it down my nose and across my cheeks a little bit all up here and across like the edge of my lid like across under my eyebrow and I just love how flushed it makes me look. I've been wanting to try out one of their lid stars which are sort of like their creamy textured eyeshadows for a while as well and I couldn't decide what color I wanted but I settled on what shade is this cub I thought that it was the color that would complement my eyes the most it's kind of a it's like a pinky ready bronzy shade influenced by Katie Jane Hughes who does amazing very sort of glowy tutorials over on Instagram I mean if you don't know Katie Jane Hughes by now like I wanted to try a new powder. I haven't switched up my powder in a while and it's just getting so greasy and sweaty in New York right now. So I've heard quite a few things about this. It's the Wowder from Glossier. I think the premise of this mainly is it's kind of a light finishing powder and I really like the dispenser. It kind of comes like this so that you don't like get it all over the place but it comes in three shades so I got the light to medium so I'm enjoying it so far I just use it sort of on my t-zone area I feel like it keeps the underneath glow but just takes away like the top shine so that's exactly what I want my powder to do oh one little touch that I really liked as well with the wider is that it does come with a little brush and it's one of those super super soft microfiber brushes if I'm correct that's what it feels like but it's very very like nice quality it's usually when you get stuff from brands it's quite bad but this is like a proper quality brush thankfully this is where actually going into the store and talking to the girls working there actually helped because because if i was doing this online i probably would have completely bypassed it but the glossy boy brow which is their brow gel i got it in the shade clear it's also have it on now and put it back in the packaging because that's how I am. <laughs> and the Haloscope, which is a product I haven't tried before, it's sort of their like stick highlighter. These come together, like you can buy them together for a $6 discount. Pretty excited to try this. I've seen this in a few like glossy tutorials and I kind of like grabbed my interest. I always, always highlight my Cupid's bow and kind of still do the tip of the nose thing because I do feel like it helps with me. And yeah, highlighters are something I've, I've kind of stayed away from for the last two years. I kind of like my foundation and my moisturizer to do the glow work for me, but I've been influenced, what can I say? Pale champagne-y sheen to it, but in the middle sort of almost has like a bam. From what I've seen, you get quite a sheeny, glossy look from this wherever you place it. So I might, might just go back to highlighting my cheeks, you guys. And then this is definitely one that I was influenced to get from the Glossier Instagram page, but it's the lip gloss. Only Glossier could make me wanna wear lip gloss at my age. Um, I don't think I've worn lip gloss since I was like, 13. It's a clear gloss but it looks sort of pale classic glossy pink in the bottle and I just love how when people wear this it looks like glass. I'm actually gonna try some on like right now. Why not? Ooh, damn. It feels super nice on the lips and it does look like an absolute wet perfection. I have to say the finish of it is exactly what I wanted from it. I just don't know if a gloss is a thing for me. Like what do you guys think? Let me know your opinion. I always feel like gloss like hides my cupid's bow a little bit more than a matte color would. I'm already thinking about how I'm going to use this gloss on my eyes. That was my glossy haul. I really hope you enjoyed unboxing it with me and getting stuck into all of the goods. I'm very excited to get into some of the newer products like the skincare that I haven't tried before and some of the makeup as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will leave all of the product details in the caption or the description below and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.